go over the gel blocks a little bit here showing what the 175 grain 30 caliber federal TLR did in ballistics gel. Um, it was a little too dark out, chronograph wasn't taking readings so I shot this without the chronograph. Most of the bullets I've tested in this range on the high end velocity have been right around 3,000 feet per second. On the low end, right around 1,900. I will chronograph them uh, one of these days and come back and fill in the description what those velocities were. That bullet weight retention on the high velocity one was 145 grains. The uh, low velocity one penetrated all the way through my gel and I could not find it. That low velocity one penetrating through my board gel and everything would be just over 31 inches of penetration with a permanent wound cavity of a good two inches running from the half inch mark where it really starts opening up to about the 15 inch mark before it tapers down. That bullet came through here, veered up, and had gone all the way out the end of my block and carried, uh, continued to carry permanent wound channel from that 14 inch mark to about the 22 inch mark where it pin lined and went out the jail, it looks like. So, overall, phenomenal performance on that lower end. That high velocity one started to open up almost immediately. That really good portion of that permanent wound cavity runs from the quarter inch mark, getting just through that board, about really half inch mark looking at it in the gel. Carries to the 14 inch mark really good, tapers down with that under one inch permanent wound cavity from that 14 inch mark to about the 21 inch mark where then it pin lines and the leading edge of that bullet was resting at 30 and a half inches of total penetration. Um, in the other video you can see it, it completely ripped this block in half the one direction and tore the sides. So you have that um, five and a half by six inch a massive portion of that permanent wound cavity. Honestly, um, the Federal Premium line of bullets that I've been testing are just performing on this ballistic side better than anybody. Great weight retention, phenomenal dumping of energy and permanent wound channels. Um, just, I'm thinking this bullet's going to be the one that's going to be really hard to beat as far as ballistics performance. I'm going to they're a little pricey, but I'm going to order a bunch and uh, start doing some accuracy tests on them and try them actually out in the field this fall in some different calibers. But, uh, man, overall, just a phenomenal performer bolt. Hope you guys enjoy this video.